First question is from Mitch Pappas. In a full body routine, would you recommend sticking to the standard compound lifts on each day or would it be more beneficial to have variations each day? For example, barbell back squat day one, barbell front squat day two, goblet squat day three, and so on. I love that. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I mean, that's how we've built um, our, our most of our programs are, are built like that. And we, we talked about this recently, right? We've talked about you know, the benefits of running a full body routine is that those exercises end up being the type of exercises that you choose for your full body routine versus if you did legs all in one workout, very few people are going to go back squat, front squat, goblet squat. Right. It yeah. would just tax the shit did, out of you. And if they did, it would be, they would lose their effectiveness because by the time you got to the second or third exercise, yes. you were totally gassed. That is one of the great benefits of, of programming full body is that you've got three you know, phenomenal yeah. exercise. Powerhouse for, exercises you right. sprinkle in there. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, there's one exception. I would say this. If you're somebody who's learning how to squat properly, um, then I think you should just do back squats each time you work out. Practice right. back squats each time you work out and get really, really good at them before you throw in a lot of these, uh, you know, different kinds of variations. So when I would train clients and, you know, once I got their mobility to the point where we could do a back squat – we would only do back squats at least two days a week. And if I trained them three days a week, sometimes all the days that I train them for maybe a few months until I saw their back squats look really, really good, solid and strong, then I would bring in a front squat or a goblet squat or a Bulgarian split stance. Well, that's a that's the beauty of back squats and the front squats, especially because they're so high skill based. You can still get a tremendous amount of value of consistently repeating those exercises mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for an extended period of time. Versus if we were, if that question was asked about leg pressing and you were leg pressing three days a week, I would see there's a lot less value mm -hmm. in that because it's not as high skill level. Yeah, yeah I totally agree. I mean, I think, I think it all depends on what level you are in terms of your familiarity with those types of exercises. Like if 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 you do need like some time learning and developing the skill of front squatting, I would focus primarily on that for yeah a few weeks. Like if if not four to five weeks of just like trying to nail it down and then. Then, you know, start mixing it up and 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 putting them all like in succession. Yeah, down. my favorite combination for me, and it built a lot of muscle and a lot of strength. Not perfect, so I don't you don't do this forever, but it was a very effective combination. Was barbell squats on one workout, front squats on another workout, and then traditional deadlifts on the third workout. So every week I was doing those movements, and they're similar enough to where I'm hitting the body, most of those body parts with a little bit of frequency, but they're different enough to where the skill is different and I would get, you know, different results from them. Yeah, I like adding in some sort of a, a unilateral movement, like a Bulgarian split squat or doing like a lunge yep. in there. I yep. think that there's a lot of value to that because that's really, that's just a single leg squat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's definitely up there with, you know, top five leg exercises. Goblet squats uh, to me are a, a little similar to front squats. You can't load it as much. Those apply more to me for a client that I'm I'm using that for a particular reason, right? Mm, they have yeah. a hard time loading the bar. They in the can't front. put it on their shoulders. They, they either they have more of a forward lean when they squat. They don't break ninety, so I really enjoy using goblet squats for that. Uh, otherwise, that movement is so close to front squats that I would use something else instead of the mm. goblet squat yeah. in the place that he's recommending. Yeah, here. I probably wouldn't use goblet squats as much. Uh, too is like. Uh, Zercher squats too as well. Oh, there you go. Yeah, which would be a good option. 